a black person who looks like you should serve as a mirror to you when you look at that black person you must see yourself and therefore you cannot say the people from Ivory Coast are not needed here in Ghana they are taking our jobs and our opportunities because there is no Ivory Coast there is no Ghana there is no Nigeria there is no South Africa there is no Liberia there is no Botswana there is Africa because we never determined these artificial borders some people went to sit somewhere and decided to divide us so Africa must stop behaving like a drunken master who goes through a gate in a yard that doesn't have a fence it will never have a fence because we are one thing we marry into each other's communities and families we go to each other's activities we share cultures I know Kwame Nkrumah was accused of wanting to be a president of Africa there was nothing wrong with that the man qualified because he woke us up from the bed we are continuing with Kwame Nkrumah's call we must create a solid foundation for one Africa because one Africa is a threat to Europe and America. In Ghana, there is a new pressure group. This group is called Arise Ghana. The group emerged in early 2022 and they gained national attention for organizing a series of anti-government protests throughout the year. They mainly focus on economic hardship government's policies and demands for accountability in the country. So, on January 23, 2024, Arise Ghana organized a unique event titled A Day of Dialogue with Julius Malema, featuring the South African politician and leader of the Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF. Malema, who is known for his unapologetic stance against economic inequality and injustice, did not disappoint. He spoke passionately about the need for pan-African unity, economic emancipation, and holding governments accountable. But in this video, we are here to share with you Malema's speech about the prosperity of the beautiful African continent, where he urges that these artificial lines known as borders, which were drawn by Europeans power for their own selfish interests, have divided communities, delayed economic development, and keep up new colonialism on the beautiful African continent. So these borders must be removed now. Let's hear this and more from Honorable Julius Malema. But before we hear from him, please don't forget to like the video and also subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thank you very much for your support. Now let's enjoy it together. I want to say this today here that xenophobic people are people who suffer from self-hate. Because when you love yourself, you will never hate another person. A black person who looks like you should serve as a mirror to you. When you look at that black person, you must see yourself. And therefore, you cannot say the people from Ivory Coast are not needed here in Ghana. They are taking our jobs and our opportunities because there is no Ivory Coast, there is no Ghana. There is no Nigeria, there is no South Africa, there is no Liberia, there is no Botswana, there is Africa. Because we never determined these artificial borders. Some people went to sit somewhere and decided to divide us. And they did that with a pen and took away our brains. Because there is no wall. In other places there is no fence. Yet we see the wall and the fence that doesn't exist. We are unable to break this imaginary artificial borders because our boss told us that we are divided. We are being treated like mad people where you've got a gate without a fence. All of you, when you want to exit to Ivory Coast, you go to a border and that border is a gate but when you check on the side of the gate, there is no fence. Our people are living together. So Africa must stop behaving like a drunken master 
who goes through a gate in a yard that doesn't have a fence. It will never have a fence because we are one thing. We marry into each other's communities and families. We go to each other's activities. We share cultures. And I know for sure that the people of Ghana dance to Ama Piano. So why would they think that they are not South Africans and why South Africans will think that they are not Ghanaians? It's only an imagination that was instilled in our heads by our colonial masters. We have to make sure that as a new generation, we do away with this. Malema also reveals that there was nothing wrong when Dr. Kwame Nkrumah wanted to become the president of the entire Africa because his party, Economic Freedom Fighters, EFF, believes in one Africa with one president. The EFF believes in one Africa where we've got one president. I know Kwame Nkrumah was accused of wanting to be a president of Africa. There was nothing wrong with that. The man qualified because he woke us up from the bed. We are continuing with Kwame Nkrumah's call. Even if we don't achieve it in our lifetime, we must create a solid foundation for One Africa because One Africa is a threat to Europe and America. Africa with one president, Africa with one currency, Africa with one military command, Africa with one parliament. It's a threat that America cannot stand. Imagine a currency of Africa against the currency of USA. Ours will be based on the natural and mineral resources of our continent. And what will the currency of France be based on? Because France can't even produce anything for its survival. The whole soccer team of France is Africa. That's why when, that's why when France plays with Britain, we all unwittingly support France because we see the blackness of the team. That's how much important we are as Africa to this Europe, um, America, and all those who support neocolonialism. He again highlighted why he thinks the unity of the African continent will start from right here in Ghana. Ghanaians, the unity of this continent starts from here because the determination the self-determination of Africa started from here. When you got your first independence, we knew that day, that one day South Africa will be free. And when Frelimo won in Mozambique, we celebrated in South Africa as if that, is, that was our freedom. But we knew that the freedom of the people of Mozambique means the freedom of South Africa because that's how we are connected. We celebrate each other's achievement. It started here in Ghana. It ended in South Africa. The unity of Africa must start here in Ghana and will capture it in South Africa because we always followed the leadership of the Ghanaian people. The economic freedom, the economic freedom of Africa will start in South Africa. We must make sure that we own everything that belongs to us. So Africans, I don't care how many we are, we must believe in ourselves. At least be an individually liberated African who is not scared of colonizers, who is not scared of white people, who doesn't worship the establishment, who calls a spade a spade. That is the only way Africa will be respected. This continent is one. They might think they divided it. I can guarantee you now, like we saw when Ghana got liberated, in South Africa, we said one day it will happen. It came many years after, but eventually it came. The unity of this continent 
is going to come. And when we call on each other to come into each other's countries, we must embrace that with ease. Me being here in Ghana, I don't feel like I'm in a different country. Because in this world, there is nothing different I'm not used to in South Africa. When I look at left or right, I see my brothers and sisters. When I walk outside and drive all over, I see the poverty of Africa that I see at home. So why would I claim I'm in a different home? Because conditions are the same. So when I'm here, I'm at home. When you are in South Africa, feel at home. South Africans are not xenophobic. South Africans are peace-loving people. And I extend my invitation to all of you to come and study in South Africa, to come and work in South Africa, to come and take your holidays in South Africa, because it is your home too. The same way you welcomed us here, we'll welcome you in South Africa. Thank you very much. So, that is all for today's episode. Let us know your thoughts and suggestions on this in the comment section below. My name always remains Sheriff Haruna. Have a joyful life and see you in our next video. Makrao.